Of course, early voting has been going on for a week now and continues through Sunday. Sunday? Yes, Sunday voting. So how's it going and what else can voters expect this year? For that, we turn to the director of the Democracy and Justice Program at the New Jersey Institute for Social Justice, Henel Patel. Henel, good to see you again. Good to see you, David. Hi, everyone. Sunday voting, that's a real novel idea. Do we have any statistics on how early voting is going right now? You know, we are, we are seeing an uptick. This is the second year of early voting in New Jersey. You know, the reality is that a lot of voters are not aware that this is an option yet, uh, but more and more voters are becoming aware. And we've seen already a significant increase, uh, 25, 30% increase from usage last year. So we, this is a, early voting is a, a method of voting that voters are learning about, using, and really enjoying, really loving it. It's great to have this flexibility. What about vote by mail? Or any indication that that's up? Yes. I mean, we've, you know, vote by mail, we've seen, especially in the last few years, more and more voters using it. Again, voters like options. They need, they want to participate. Voting just on one day a year, that one Tuesday is not as convenient for everyone. People like having these options of vote by mail. We've seen increases on that as well, um, uh, um, especially in the last, uh, since it started in New Jersey, that was years ago. Do we have uh, any indication of what groups, women, minorities, young voters that are taking advantage of this option? You know, I think it runs across the board, right? Uh, vote by mail is something you see a lot more usage of within the suburbs. Um, and that's that's been the case and it's mm. it's continued to be the case. Young voters are taking advantage of it, especially as they are, are at dorms and colleges, being able to use vote by mail to vote at their home districts. Early voting is something we're seeing upticks of in every county. Um, and we, uh, you know, we've started seeing, um, we've, we have finally the opportunity with early voting and Sunday voting, as you mentioned, souls to the polls coming to New Jersey, a long tradition in black churches. So we're seeing black churches across the state participate in it um, and go to early voting sites, um, encourage their congregants to go to early voting sites. So I think um, your uh, voting options work for everybody. It used to be that Democrats had the vote by mail edge. Is that still the case? Have have Republicans started to to take advantage of that? You know, when you say used to be, it's interesting because historically that's not the case for a vote oh. by mail. Vote by mail has always been something that both parties have pre, um, used across the country and New Jersey. In 2020, um, our big vote by mail election, the, this, the county with the highest turnout of vote by mail was Hunterdon County. Huh. Um, so it's actually something we see across the board. But yes, we have been seeing in the last few years more Democrats using it. Um, at the end, it's a lot to do with suburbs and suburban mm -hmm. options and a lot, unfortunately, to do with um, what messaging goes out about vote by mail and right. about voting options. These, it matters what ele elected officials and party leaders and other folks are saying about these options. What are some of the benefits or some of the impediments, actually, that, that still remain to people voting? You know, there's a number of them. We do nonpartisan election protection with our partners every year. And we are getting, it's another election and another series of calls from voters who are checking. They thought they were registered. They moved here. They um, interacted with agencies. They thought they were registered and they're not on the rolls. So one of the biggest impediments everyone is facing in New Jersey is that we don't have same day voter registration. So if you miss the voter registration deadline, you're out of luck in voting in this midterm, this ma major important election. And that doesn't have to be the case. 20 states, D.C. have same day registration. We should have it, too. What's the best advice for voters, maybe especially first time voters who are going to go to the polls on Tuesday? Great. First, first piece of advice is you don't have to wait till Tuesday. Early voting is open right now. Go, right. <laughs> go vote. You can go vote this a weekend. But the other one is look up the candidates. Look them up. There's vote 411. There's other ways to do this. Check. And last, I'll say this. If you face any issue or even if you just have a question, want to know where your polling place is, things like that, call. Nonpartisan Election Protection is here to help. 1-866-OUR-VOTE. Call us. We'll help you. Go ye forth and vote. All right, Henel Patel, director of the Democracy and Justice Program for the New Jersey Institute for Social Justice. Good to see you again, my friend. Thanks for coming on. Great seeing you too. Bye, everyone.